Hello, 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 guys. I love you. Feel love. I thank you, my loyal viewers, for standing with me, for coming together with your friends so that we may grow spiritually together. And uh, today I want us to share a word of God about pureness of art, the pureness of art. And we'll be guided by three verses, one from the book of Matthew, chapter, five, chapter 5 and verse 8. From the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 8. And the word of God says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Jesus. This, the next verse that will guide us today is the verse from the book of Psalms, chapter 66 and verse 18. If I cherish iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I hold iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. And the last First comes from the book of Romans chapter 14 and verse 17. And the word of God says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Praise God. This is our word. This is our word today. The word we are going to share and be blessed together. As you have heard, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God, for they shall see Jesus. So one thing you, are, you have to understand as a Christian in church, today, in our today's churches, we have Christians and true Christians. Who are Christians? Christians are just a no more Christians who have not possessed the Holy Spirit. But true Christians are the ones who have the mark of the Holy Spirit in their hearts. Our heart acts as a contact, a house of God, a house of Spirit of God to dwell in us. The Spirit of God will dwell in only a free heart, a heart which is free from offense, a heart which is free from crunches, a free heart is the house of the Holy Spirit. The heart, the heart, the heart. When our hearts are pure, when our hearts are not filled with iniquity, when our hearts are not filled with offense and crutches. That's the moment our hearts are pure. So I hunt, as, as, as Christians, I hunt every viewer who is viewing us from every part of the world that you may make your heart pure. How will we make our hearts pure before the Lord by one, ensuring that we confess our iniquities. Second, ensuring that we don't hold any iniquity. We don't hold any offense. We don't hold any kind of grant in our hearts and then by so doing the Holy Spirit of God will dwell in our hearts and will have power rivers of living water shall flow from your interior from your wombs from your stomachs scattering the works of the enemy bringing life to people delivering them only when we stand to have a free heart, 
a pure heart before the Lord. God speaks in a free heart, a pure heart, because our hearts are the contacts of communication with God.